Welcome. When Thank I think you. about this award, this is the fifth year you're honoring these women. I and when know. I think about what it is, they well, have... Well, we should honor them, and we do every year. But this, this, this is a special, the DVF Awards, that it's part of the Women of the World Conference, where I saw you yesterday. And, uh, and we honor these, these women who not only had the courage to, to, to survive whatever misery they were, but also the power to inspire and, to, and the leadership to help others. For women to become this successful, is it about having creative talent or is it about having drive and survival ability? Look at your own career. What made you this success? Oh, but I mean, you know, when I see these women that we honor tonight, I feel like I have done nothing. And I feel so humbled by them because, not, I mean, they, they do so much and then, and they always, I mean, it, it, it's, it's incredible how much they do. So me, I feel like, you know, I could use whatever success and exposure that I have to put them on the platform and to help them financially and to help them also to, to spread their word. What is your advice to them, though? Look at your career. Look what you've done for 40 years. When they win this award, they also look to you. And how do you tell them to do it? How do you tell them to survive? Oh, I try to learn from them, really. They, I, I don't have to tell them how to survive. These women are, you know, my mother was a survivor. My mother survived the Holocaust when she was 20 and before I was born. And uh, so I think that I have the genes of a survivor. And that's why also I relate so much with, with these women. I mean, the, the women we honor today is, one is called Veronica Scott. She's a woman out of, out, out of Detroit who, I mean, it, I mean she, worked, she started to create, in a sense, she's a designer. She created a coat that doubles up as a sleeping bag for homeless women. And I mean, you know, so what I'm trying to say is that there's nothing small enough that you can do that can help people. You know, I love the, the, the grassroots of it all. But then it's not just the grassroots people that we honor. We're also honoring uh, Gloria Steinem, who is without... She's 80 this year. She is 80, and she looks hot and sexy and, and gracious and beautiful. And, and, and we wouldn't be where we are without Gloria Steinem, you know? And we're honoring uh, Alicia Keys, you know, who has done so much for children and, and AIDS. And, and we are honoring two women. Um, one is Israeli and one is Palestinian, and they work together in Israel. And, and it's, it's, it's so, such a difficult task. Then what is the key to success, whether it's yours or Gloria's or Alicia Keys or the recipients? Is it being a fighter and a determined survivor or is it being an artist? No, what, what matters is the truth. What matters is, is to believe in the truth. What fighting for the truth, living, being true to who yourself. I, I mean, I think that nothing gives you more courage than the truth. And it's a very tricky thing because a lot of people, because it's easy to be afraid of the truth, but at the end, if you fight for the truth, that gives you an energy and, and a power that, you know, character, everybody, you can lose everything in life. You could lose your husband, you could lose your wealth, you could lose your health, but you never lose your character. And what these women have is incredible character. It sounds to me like you're also talking about being true to your brand, and that is what you are most known for. If someone walks down Fifth Avenue, they know a DVF look. They know you've had this iconic wrap dress for 40 years. How have you had the conviction to stay true to your brand and say, you oh, know what, through this time, this I don't. is who I am? I don't. I mean, my God, I don't at all. A lot of times I lose myself. and we. But now, this year, I'm writing a book. I had the exhibition in the 40th anniversary in, 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 in LACMA in L.A. So it was like, it's like I have gone through total therapy. And therefore, I know that what you have to do is stick to what you are. And... You know, the great thing about aging is that you have a past. And if you look at your past and your body of your work and you're proud of it, then you know you did something good. Have you changed who you are in the 40 years? Are oh, you different today than you were when you began? 
Well, I've been many, many things along the way, and sometimes I'm many things during one, one day. But at the end, the little, the little me there in the mirror that I communicate with, that's been the same forever. You're about to do a reality show. How do you feel? It's not a reality All right. show. I am not doing a reality show. I'm do, I am developing a series, a documented series, where people will be able to get inside the, the company and see all of the things and where we are giving opportunity to young, young girls to learn and also to push that one door that will make them maybe a brand ambassador. Look at all the women that you are helping. Did anyone help you like this? My mo well, my mother inspired me. Uh, uh, Diana Vreeland helped me when she, you know, when I showed her my first dresses and when nobody understood what it was, I didn't even really understand. And she said, this is genius. This is great. This is so democratic, revolutionary. She used all these words. Um, many people, I mean, we, we always help each other. I mean, you know, today you're helping me because I can talk about these women. I help these women. I mean, it's a chain of love. Um, but what I think is that I am inspired by women and, and I design to inspire them. Then I have to ask, when you look at all of these extraordinary, inspiring women, does it still make you sad that so few women are running companies? Even in the fashion industry, so many women designers, but so few really own their businesses. Why is this? Uh, well, um, you know, women, uh, women are very strong, and, but sometimes they're afraid to show their strength. And, uh, and we always play, you know, we have to be, we also have to stay women, so sometimes we confuse both. But I think there's so many women who are running so many, I mean, I think we are making progress and then the pendulum goes back. So we have to continue to inspire. Well, you are doing it.